answer is why do leaves fall off in the fall? Thanks, Valentina, for your question. Um, first things first, what trees do this? Not all trees shed their leaves. The trees we're talking about are deciduous trees. So those are the ones where the leaves change color and they drop. So if you think of an evergreen tree, like a pine tree with pine needles and pine cones, that tree does not, that's not a deciduous tree. So that's not what, what I'm talking about here. So this does not apply to every single tree. And I wanted to make that clear. Deciduous trees mostly come from places where winter gets cold and snowy, like our state of Connecticut. So back to the question, why do I fall? Why do I fall? Short answer, to keep the plant safe, to keep the tree safe, make sure it doesn't get any injuries during the winter, and secondly, to conserve energy. So just like me and you, as we head into fall, we start noticing that the days are shorter and the temperatures are colder. And both of those stimuli the shorter days and the colder temperatures trigger the leaf drop. And leaf drop is also known as leaf abscission. And abscission is just a fancy word for to cut off. Think of scissors. You can kind of see that word scissor almost in abscission. And if you think about it, leaves are really thin. So if a leaf were to freeze, it would break because it's so paper thin, it's so delicate, and the cells would burst. That's what that word rupture here means, um, break or burst. And so if you have a broken leaf, it's not going to work. It's not going to do what it's meant to do. And so let's back up. What are leaves on a plant to do? Let me think. Oh, I think leaves are like big solar panels that soak up the sun and they soak up the sun so they can make sugar. So if a tree can't use its leaves to soak up the sun and make sugar, then it can't live. So the trees need to protect its leaves. And even though it seems maybe not too obvious that by dropping them, the, the tree is protecting itself, it is because then that guarantees the tree, the plant will be able to start fresh in the spring, grow all new leaves, which will all be very healthy and very capable of going through photosynthesis to feed the plant. But don't worry because the nutrients from all of these decaying leaves that drop on the ground as this happens, they're recycled. They're taken back into the soil through little tiny microorganisms and fungi and tree roots and uh, worms and roly polies. All these things that live in the soil get to break that down and turn it into nutrition for another plant to grow. And so abscission, we kind of glanced over this, abscission literally translates to to cut away or means to cut away. Um, and it's the same root word for scissors. So think of scissors. And so abscission cells, you can also think of them in your head as scissor cells, are created when the trees say to the leaves, it's time to go. And the tree gets that message out to its leaves by using hormones. And hormones are basically just these little messenger molecules. They're chem chemical molecules that tell the plant to do cer a certain thing in response to a certain set of stimuli. So remember the two stimuli we talked about were one, shorter day. There's less light in a day, shorter day length. They can't photosynthesize as much. They can't make as much food. Secondly, colder temperatures. The leaves are getting more susceptible to freezing they're more vulnerable. So those two stimuli trigger auxin and ethylene, those two hormones here in this picture, and listed right here. Those are the plant hormones that tell the tree it's time to start producing those scissor cells. And those scissor cells are produced right here where the branch and the, and the leaf stem meet um, to basically make sure that this opening this open wound is covered. So it's kind of like making sure there's a band-aid on the open wound. And we can see that here in this microscope shot of a, um, of right where the, 
branch and the leaf stalk meet, the red cells are the abscission cells. So they're protecting the plant. And it's, if all you take away from this is that trees hibernate too, and that dropping their leaves is basically a protective move that assures the tree will live until next spring, then you got it. That's exactly what they're doing. They're hibernating, they're dropping their leaves, they're making sure that all of their leaves will be fresh and ready to go in the spring when they need to make food as the sun is shining on them longer. So that is your answer to the question of the week. Time is up for these leaves. It's time to drop. Um, if you want to know more about why they change color, that's a whole other different story. And there are so many cool things to know about plants. Trees, in my opinion, are incredibly smart and adaptive. And this is just one way to illustrate that. So thanks for your question again. I can't wait to hear more of your questions to come. Bye from Estegan.